sort of Kitale Museum and we just flow into it. Introduce yeah, yourself one more time. Uh, Adriano Simuana, uh -huh. Kitale Museum. Oh. Gallery no. section. Okay. And the gallery section is under ethnographic okay. department. What is ethnography? Ethnography is a term refers to cultural heritage. Cultural heritage. Cultural heritage department. Okay. And it is uh, through the cultural heritage oh. ethnography department uh -huh. that we they collect most of those things. The material collected uh -huh. are collected from there and then taken to gallery. Okay. Yeah, for yeah. study. So what is in the gallery uh -huh. is a replica of what is in the ethnographic office. Okay. So in other words, gallery is a section under ethnography. Okay. So ethnography is the main department. Yeah. Yeah. And if you are doing your research or you are interested in the culture, his number is plus 2547 Contact him and inquire about anything. Exactly. During the day, from 8 to 5. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. and uh, you will share information about uh, ethnography. Ethnography. Oh, okay, okay. Cultural heritage material. Okay, okay. Uh, gallery section. Okay. So we we'll proceed. Yeah. Can we go yeah, down, then we continue, or we see me? Let's just finish, finish this, this, and then when we go Come down, we... Yeah, yeah. Okay. So here you have the Trukana married women. Trukana married women. Yeah, so we can be able to see the first attire. Okay. We will talk about the front apron. Uh -huh. This one, the front apron, uh -huh. the back apron, uh -huh. and the other one can be put in there. The handbag. Uh, this one could be like the handbag, uh -huh. but could easily be put in the waist. Okay. And then uh, we can also see number one, number two, number three. Uh -huh. We can see that uh, number two is made of some of... Uh, yeah. Uh, wild banana seeds. Uh, wild banana seeds, yeah. and you can be able to see it's made of number three is made of the fish bone. Okay. So Trukana married women could use this tool number one, number two, and number three. This uh -huh. kind of attire uh -huh. during the time when they have ceremony. Uh -huh. So, in other words, at a particular ceremony, they had a specific attire. Okay. Like even nowadays, uh -huh. when you have when, when there's church, you put on church material. Uh -huh. When you go to farm, uh -huh. you have to put on church. Attire, kind of material like that. Uh -huh. So the face of Western Kenya, uh -huh. when you look at the Trukana married women, they had specific attire oh. for specific purpose. Okay. Like number one, number two, number three, uh -huh. they were during when the, with the time when they had ceremony. Okay. They put on such a kind of attire. Uh -huh. uh, and we have earlier on said the first apron, well, the first one, the, uh, the apron, uh -huh. the front apron, and the back, the back apron, uh -huh. and the handbag, and the handbag, oh. which could be could put in the yeah. under yeah. waist. Uh -huh. And in addition, uh -huh. it here the married women, okay. when you are not married, you uh -huh. are not supposed to cover the back part, you uh -huh. are supposed to cover only the front, the front part. part. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Why is that? For the married women, for, they cover front and back. Yeah, the but married for women. And married front. You can, yeah, you Why? Only cover. So you are not yet married. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And just, that one was also. Yeah. Okay. You and it was a way of attraction. Oh, yeah. the nyash. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> the young Pokot ladies. Yeah. You can see this is the front up front. Okay. And this one is the back up front. Hey, this one. And this <laughs> one they could put it. This one is so small. It so small. only covers the front, oh, the front part. Oh, oh. And then oh. this one is okay. the back up front. Uh -huh. And this one they could put it there, the neck. Okay. But for the married ones, uh -huh. the yeah. front up front was much was big enough to cover oh. Oh, okay. well. Oh for this for the yeah, for this young people. But for okay. the young people you only oh. cover the front part. Okay, okay, part. okay. Yeah. Oh. So you can be able to see the front apron, back apron. This one they could put at the neck. Mm -hmm. The young people, because mm -hmm. they are also addressing sex education, mm -hmm. the young people are not supposed to put on the one that's attractive. Yes. Because you see, they are still young. Mm -hmm. So when you are able to address matters of sex education, mm -hmm. you are training these young people not to be indulged into some affairs which they have not yet reached okay. the age. Yeah. But those ones who had reached the age of is it puberty? Or yeah. Yes. Those ones who are allowed to put on the attractive because they can attract the opposite sex. Yeah. Then they are also ready to get married. Yeah. So they were putting on there. So it means traditionally, mm -hmm. the young Pokot ladies also knew how to deal with matters of education yeah. as pertains to young children okay. and also adults. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's like now we can't allow small girls to wear mini skirts. It's very illegal for them. Yeah. Because it means they, people will start yeah. thinking they are ready, but they, they are still They are still young. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then here we have the basketry mm -hmm. industry. Mm -hmm. Okay, we've talked this basketry industry. Mm -hmm. We have this basket. Basket could be made from the sisal mm -hmm. or maybe some reeds. Mm -hmm. So you can see this this one is for trapping the quills, quill, quill buds. Quill. Okay, okay. And also you could see this basket, just number six. Mm -hmm. It is important for it was used for serving 
food like okay. ugali mm -hmm. and then you can see the plastic one the plastic one is mm -hmm. simply saying the kind of civilization okay. which according to museum mm -hmm. will look at as a gradual change mm -hmm. in uh, defining evolution okay and then here we have the pottery industry okay we have the ports we have the money bank mm -hmm. what you can learn from this is that the jiko mm -hmm. and the money bank they are made in the form of uh, the modern okay you can see the modern knowledge being used yeah so when you look at the pottery how the ports are made out of ceramic material mm -hmm. and also clay material yeah but the technique of making this you can see they have employed something mm -hmm. like modern knowledge mm -hmm. so that brings about the gradual change okay, okay. so you can be putting up some idea but mm -hmm. it brings the modernity mm -hmm. so you can be able to see Okay. Skills involved, yeah. and then you can see the blacksmith. Mm -hmm. Okay, here yeah, last I took. Uh, okay, I said mm -hmm. the Dembako or the Hove 1910. Yeah, this is also the kind of the black blacksmith showcase, mm -hmm. which you can be able to see. You have the blacksmith of 15th century. Mm -hmm. So we have captured the blacksmith since 15th century, mm -hmm. and there's the work of the blacksmith and the techniques of the blacksmith to come up with this. Mm -hmm. You know, something like iron. Mm -hmm was easily found due to butter trade. Yeah. Uh, you can see the things like uh, iron or metal, they came from the mm -hmm. But because of the butter trade, you can easily access, mm -hmm. and that could easily attract the blacksmiths to, to start making things like spear, among mm -hmm. other things. Then you can see the blacksmith of the 20th century. Mm -hmm. We refer to, to, we refer to as the blacksmith bellow of 20th century. Mm -hmm. So you can see this important tool, mm -hmm. the blacksmith bellow of the 20th century. Mm -hmm. These are blacksmith tools of 15th century. Mm -hmm. The blacksmith's bellow of 20th century, mm -hmm. it was used to make some of these tools. They yeah. could blow fire inside mm -hmm. and use it to make these other tools. So it was a very important kind of tool. Mm -hmm. Among the Bukusu community, they mm -hmm. call it kumukubo. 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 Kumukubo, meaning? Kumukubo. It's just a tool. Okay. A tool. It's a tool called kumukubo. Okay. So they could make some fire inside mm -hmm. and Use this tool to make other tools. Oh. It's a very important kind of. So we have the. Uh, are we going faster? No, it's okay. We are keeping the pace. <laughs> yeah. Now these ones we are we, we had cowrie shells. Uh -huh. Remember, cowrie shells were used as money, uh -huh. so they could exchange this one with the Indian rupees. Uh -huh. So in other words, it's only nowadays that we have looked at money. We have to value, but. Things were exchanged as money, as a medium of exchange. Mm -hmm. They could exchange the cowrie shells mm -hmm. to Indian rupees or exchange the cowrie shells to a cow. What's a cowrie shell? Uh, let me say, cowrie shells, mm -hmm. they're just shells. Oh, they're shells, this they one. are cowrie shells which are used as money, see here. Okay. Uh, things like that beads. West bead is cowrie shell. Uh, even that's West bead, uh, the beads okay. are cowrie shells. Okay. So they could be used as a valuable as the way you use money okay. as indian rupees could value their money mm -hmm. we could also value whatever we had okay so here we had something like coral reefs mm -hmm. you know coral reefs are found in uh, maybe oceans oh, yeah, yeah but you could see that a fisherman could could easily could tap where okay could easily trace where fish are mm -hmm. by looking at where we have the coral reefs okay so coral reefs are also built in a bigger size to accommodate more fish to lay more eggs okay. and to be a source of the tourist attraction okay, okay. at the same time a source of attracting the fishermen mm -hmm. so in other words there were people who could cow shell i mean i mean uh, the coral reefs were also houses for fish okay. at the same time the, the fish could eat the the coral reefs okay. as food okay. so it was they're eating their house as food mm -hmm. and also staying there. Okay. So people had to come up with the technique of making these cowrie shells okay. to be bigger in size, okay. to accommodate more fish, mm -hmm. to lay more eggs, mm -hmm. to have more fish, okay. to be a source of income for okay. the fishermen and a source of the tourist attraction. Okay. Very important. Oh yeah. Now this other place here, mm -hmm. you can be able to see we have. Uh, these are some of the things we refer to as the the you are found underwater under natural science. Mm -hmm. You can be able to study the Brito stars, uh -huh. and here we have some fossils. Okay. So what happened, the founder of this museum, uh -huh. Colonel Stoner, did uh -huh. some networking. Uh -huh. But at the same time, since he had done British Navy, uh -huh. we realized that there were some of the things that were collected underwater. Uh -huh. If you study marine science, uh -huh. you can easily go underwater and collect some of these things of fossils. Uh, yeah. Fossils were found under low temperature uh -huh. and a low pressure. Uh -huh. So they could easily access this kind of fossils. Uh -huh. So these fossils were accessed at Lake Albert mm -hmm. in Uganda, mm -hmm. and they were being brought here. So you can see other things under water that were being collected, mm -hmm. like Brito stars. Oh, Brito. Michael brought these things here. <laughs> 
Is it for Colonel Stoneham? It's a Colonel Stoneham's collection. Oh, oh. As you see, we are talking about Colonel Stoneham, we are talking about 70% of collections in the Museum Gallery. Oh, okay. Italy, Museum Gallery. Now, these are the things you can see. We have the ornaments. Mm -hmm. Now, these ornaments, there are others that are made from from uh, beads, beads. Uh -huh. and also even from beads, uh -huh. right? But uh -huh. you can be able to see that the one that is representing the current one, uh -huh. like the Roman Catholic uh, Rosary, uh -huh. you see those ones that are depicting the evolution uh -huh. process, yeah. which we are talking about the gradual change. Uh -huh. So we compare the modern one uh -huh. and the old ones, then we can be able to come up with the radical change. Uh -huh. So we can realize about, we can still define our evolution as a radical change. Okay. Yes. Nice. And then this other place, we see the traditional medicine. Mm -hmm. Traditional herbal medicine, they have been practiced from uh, time, uh, time immemorial in Africa. Mm -hmm. They also de demand to be given a certificate mm -hmm. for so that they can be able to use their medicine. Okay. But you realize that uh, proper prescription is also mm -hmm. needed. Mm -hmm. And also they, they need more education on how they use their, their kind of the, the herbs. Mm -hmm. So traditional medicine mm -hmm. is also one of the one of the industry mm -hmm. that we, we have it here. Mm -hmm. So the Pokot people have got the charm. Mm -hmm. Charm is something like they believe is like an omen. Mm -hmm. uh, you can take something like, uh, let me say, in Kibukusu, in, 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 in Kiswahili, it's called Hirisi. Mm -hmm. So they, if they have something they believe in, it can help them. Mm -hmm. They'll put either on their, on their clothes, say mm -hmm. they are going for interview. Mm -hmm. They say, I'll pass this interview. Mm -hmm when I have this kind of charm. Okay, okay. But when he, he fails to get the interview, he will say the mistake is I didn't follow the instruction. Okay. Maybe I looked behind when I was not, I was not supposed to look behind. Mm -hmm. But already maybe he paid a god to receive the, the, the charm. charm. You see. Mm -hmm. But different communities have got different way of doing things. For okay. example, mm -hmm. maybe you are going to a safari in Nairobi, mm -hmm. then you can decide and say, if I meet a cat on the way, mm -hmm. I'll get an accident. Yeah. A black so what I'll cat. do, uh, this is a black cat. Yeah. He's a bad woman, uh -huh. so I don't go to Nairobi. Uh -huh. But Im imagine, still, you can go to Nairobi and reach without, a, without a, an accident. Yeah. So there are things that we believe in which oppress like a charm. Uh -huh. What? That's very informative. <laughs> yeah. So we go down. <laughs> now, when you are here, uh -huh. we, we are looking at these are part of the Stoneham, uh, Stoneham collection. Uh -huh. There is a term we refer to as taxidermy. taxidermy. Mm -hmm. So we look about taxidermy, the whole process coming up with a full trophy. Yeah. Like the one you see, the line of Tanganyika of 1939. Yeah. Among others, yeah. we realize that these are some of the trophies mm -hmm. and they belong to Colonel Stoneham. Yeah. They are part of the Stoneham's collection. Mm -hmm. So we can easily get the browsers and even the graces. Okay. Like you can see the giraffe. Mm -hmm. Giraffe is feeds on twigs okay. and also leaves. So this uh, this one is a browser, okay. and the grazers they feed on grass. Uh -huh. But you can also learn about adaptation when uh -huh. you look at this kind of uh, animals and the kind of the horns uh -huh. will depict something on evolution. Okay. Yeah. So what is necessary is understanding about taxidermy uh -huh. and how the museum uses formal dehyde solution, which uh -huh. is formally for purpose of preservation. Uh -huh. So these things have been near since 1926. They were in. Cheringai, oh, and they oh. were brought here based and on the will. This was, uh, yeah, and they look very, very natural, <laughs> very pristine, very yeah. well kept. They, you know, and they can go for the next even 1,000 years. Actually, it depends on how the museum has really taken care. Mm -hmm. uh, but these things have stayed for quite long. 1926, mm -hmm. they were at uh, Cheringai. Yeah. Uh, Do you normally fumigate here? Definitely, there's. Uh, care of it. Okay. They do negate to make sure that they are okay. Okay. But the kind of the preservative mm -hmm. that they give is good. Okay. The formal high solution, so which is formalin. Yeah. So we go down and see what's happening. Then you can also see this one, mm -hmm. butterfly. Butterf you know, butterflies could be kept in a butterfly case. Mm -hmm. Are you seeing? So these were part of the 70% Stoneham collection. Mm -hmm. And Stoneham began collecting the butterflies, insects, the moth, and the grasshopper mm -hmm. at the age of five. At the age of five, yeah. So, so you can imagine, there, 1894, he used to collect this. But these things were brought right from England mm -hmm. to Cherengani in 1926 when it began. This, the these butterflies? Yes. So, so, it seems so the these ones are from England? Yeah. Okay. He collected most things from there. Then when he came this side uh -huh. and established the museum in 1926, uh -huh. Cherengani, he came with this. Uh -huh. So it means charity begins at home. Uh -huh. Colonel Stoneham had interest in the museum. Uh -huh. So it showed that he could come up with a, a museum because was, at a tender age, it means at a tender age, we should not be able to neglect any time. Yeah, he was born in England, right? Yeah. 
and then it came when he was five. Side. That's oh. why she was staying in 1914 to 1918. Mm -hmm. She participated in the first world war, oh. and she was also given a trophy. You see, oh. ahead of a line of Tanganyika of 1939. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh. And since he had also a fond of music, you oh. see, there was a piano that he was brought as a donation to. Oh. Oh. How, how did he participate in the world? A five okay, year according to his year. Uh -huh. Uh, 1914 to 1918. Mm -hmm. No, the, the the term Colonel Stoneham. Mm -hmm. Colonel stands for the first rank, the Brigadier General. Oh, okay. So he participated in the First World War, 1914. Uh, what was his role? Because he was smaller. Yeah, not Maybe. smaller. At, at the age of 1914, 1914. to 1918. Okay. According to Stoneham, it was operating in the age of my youth. Maybe he was 20. Oh, 20. Yeah. Oh, okay, he okay, was not okay. born that day. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, there's a little comma, 18. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Nice, nice. And then here we have this kind of department. Mm -hmm. It's referred to as herpetology. Herpetology. Herpetology is the study of reptiles mm -hmm. and amphibians. Okay. So you have poisonous and unpoisonous. Mm -hmm. So non poisonous does not have the fangs. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Then poisonous have the fungus. So mm -hmm. you see that the black mamba mm -hmm. is highly poisonous. Okay. It right it is a narrow elongated hood. Mm -hmm. It has black eyes mm -hmm. and inside the mouth is black. And it's the most dangerous snake. Okay. Yeah, the black mamba. Uh, and it's actually it's also the fastest on land. Fastest on land. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's food, yes. It mm -hmm. feeds on chicks. Chicks. Yeah. Okay. And then you have also the cobra. These mm -hmm. are poisonous snakes. Mm -hmm. Then you have the vipers and puffada. Mm -hmm. The vipers and puffada are snakes are poisonous snakes but with unique characteristics. Okay. So this unique characteristic shows that the vipers and puffers they give birth like human beings. Okay. In other words, the eggs are fertilized inside their body. Okay. So you can say puffer gives birth to puffer. Okay. Viper gives birth to mm -hmm. viper. Okay. So in other words, they behave like human beings. The eggs are fertilized, fertilized internally. Okay. Whereas other snakes, they have to lay eggs outside. Okay. Okay. So it means this kind of the snakes have got the unique Characteristics. Okay. Yeah. Oh. And then we have also the tortoise and turtle. Uh -huh. Turtle, turtle lives in saline condition, in salt water, and turtle stays 300 to 600 years. In the issue of magia chumvi, in the issue miyaka miyata to hadi miyaka miyasi. But you can see the tortoise. You heard about the tortoise stay? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Tortoise stay. Tortoise Maybe leopard. No, but it is 150 years. So you can took about 150 years. Or yeah. if you go to 180. But turtle, 300 to 600 years. Yeah. And 200 to 300 years. 200 to 300 years. Oh. So terrapin is almost closer to, to turtle. Turtle, this 200, 300. But now turtle takes from 300 to 600 years. Uh -huh. And it stays in saline okay. condition. Oh. But uh, you can see, look at the turtoise. Look at the therapy, they will stay in fresh water. Okay. But this one stays in salt water. Okay. They stay longer duration of time. Oh. Yeah. This was plants were just for the purpose of veterinary nature. Okay. You can capture what is found in our nature reserves. Okay. Okay. Yes, so we are encouraging planting of the trees uh -huh. for purpose of the climate change. Okay. So museum has also been addressing climate change uh -huh. so that we meet the ten percent forest cover, okay. which definitely we've achieved by planting trees. Okay. Yes. And then this one is a nail patch. Nail patch. Okay. Maybe you can easily get nail patch from over there. Yeah. yeah. Even very like Victoria. Yeah. Eh? Even like Victoria. Even like Victoria. Okay. Yeah. So okay. very nice kind of fish. Mm -hmm. It's very expensive. Mm -hmm. And then this one is a hippopotamus. It's a fossil. Is this is a fossil of a hippo. Okay. It's a hippopotamus scar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a real one. Oh. And then you have the pangolin. Mm -hmm. uh, you have the ground pangolin mm -hmm. and you have the tree pangolin. You know why they are called the ground pangolin? Mm -hmm. Because they are found in the ground. Mm -hmm. The tree pangolin found the tree. Mm -hmm. These ones, there's a myth mm -hmm. that when you see pangolin, you live many years. You yes, that's what you have seen. We see we live many years. But oh, the fact okay. behind is that because pangolin are rarely found. Oh, yes. So if we see the, like this, we <laughs> we shall live many years. Okay. But actually, the, what's behind this one is a myth. Oh, okay. It okay. shows that pangolin are rarely found. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then you have this the mongoose. Mm -hmm. Mongoose feeds on chicks. We have the mongoose, mm -hmm. and then you have this one is the cheetah. Mm -hmm. You know, the cheetah is different from the leopard. Mm -hmm. The cheetah has got the tear mark, mm -hmm. it looks as if it's crying forever. Yeah, and also you can see that the cheetah has got the spots. Yeah, while the leopard has the spots. Then you can see also that the cheetah has got the streamlined body, the hollow bones, it can run 120 kilometers per hour. So this one can run a speed of a vehicle. Yeah.
and then this one you can see the male and female baboon. You can easily differentiate between the male and the female baboon. This is a big mask. Yeah. And you, see, you can see this one is a bit humble. Yeah. Uh, this one is a female baboon. This is a male baboon. Mm -hmm. They operate within. Like in a museum, then how can you differentiate between a chimpanzee? Chimpanzees. You know, you look at first of all they were primate. You can maybe look at their physical oh. uh, characteristics, adaptations. <laughs> Yes, so the others which are a bit friendly to man, the others they share with him. Yeah. And then uh, you see chimpanzees very well closer to man yeah. than even the baboon. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then you can also see this one is, in Kiswahili is called Nungu Nungu, Nungu Nungu and it's also called uh, Porcupine. So these ones they feed on watermelon, they also feed on sweet potatoes. So when they are around, you have to make sure that when you are planting watermelon, mm -hmm. Or we are planting some potatoes, you must protect, otherwise, they feed on the watermelon. Oh, okay. And also, this one this one is a hedgehog. Okay. Uh, hedgehog. hedgehog is found in island region. Surprisingly, the other even European countries, you can find that uh, this kind of uh, uh, hedgehog could be found where you don't find these other animals. But it's mostly found in island region. And it can turn into a ball mm -hmm. to snatch milk from a cat. Milk? Yeah. You can, maybe in your house, you have milk, you normally take milk to your cat. Mm -hmm. This this kind of a uh, hedgehog, if it gets an advantage, it will roll into a ball and even get away of snatching the milk from from the cat. Okay. Yeah. And then the rest, this was a colobus mite. Or uh, we talked about some of their skin. Uh, mm -hmm. worn. And that's why people are being in the community. Yeah. We had uh, something in a car. Bats. Uh, the other thing that bats. The bat in a car. This was a. Uh, so like the thing looks like a. Uh, yeah. So, we have rodents. rodents. Yeah. So, rodents, these are now in animals. Okay. Like now, here we have also, the museum has got this kind of class. So, this one is very expensive. Mm -hmm. And also, the museum is guarded by the high security mm -hmm. because of this guy. This one, this one alone will cost over six million. What? So, if you are found with this one, you are in for it. It could make some of this, they don't have the battle or something like for kings. Oh, oh. Uh, for kings. So you see, it would be right for me to get about six billion. Yeah. So if you are found with this, then definitely. So high security is required in the gallery because of having real tasks like this one. Okay. This was upper job an elephant. Mm -hmm. So shows an elephant is enormous. Especially if you look at elephant that's found in Savannah, because Savannah is bigger mm -hmm. than the, the one that's found in Mount Elgon. Because Mount Elgon, mm -hmm. they are black and small mm -hmm. and they do strenuous activity. But mm -hmm. we find those ones in Savannah climate, mm -hmm. which is a good climate, they are bigger. Yeah. It's just like human beings, if you take them to a better, fertile place mm -hmm. or a viable place, the man becomes Big. bigger. But if you go to a place of stress, mm -hmm. you find you are a bit smaller yeah. and because of some activities that you do. Mm -hmm. So similarly, you go to Mount Elgon, you find some elephants that are smaller mm -hmm. and black. Mm -hmm. And they do some strenuous work of climbing the mountain up oh, and down. Oh. Because Savannah, they're just relaxed. Yeah. You find a bigger kind of elephant, just relaxed. Okay. Easy. So this one is a. Uh, so this one is of, uh, Savannah, the one from Savannah. This one looks like for Savannah. Like oh. big and it's, it's a bit brown. It's a color brown. Eh? Yeah. 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 So this one's upper jaw of mm -hmm. an elephant. Mm -hmm. This one is the lower jaw of an elephant. When you talk about an elephant, mm -hmm. you can look at a human being jaw. You see, to me, the elephant is a very enormous thing. Yeah. Upper jaw, this one is the lower jaw, uh -huh. and this one is the femur. Uh -huh. This is the bone, uh -huh. just from here up to here, oh. of an elephant. Oh. So big. Femur. Yeah. Almost my it's side. Femur, femur. Femur. <laughs> femur, yeah. Femur, femur. Yeah. Yeah. So this one is a snout of a sawfish. Uh -huh. Sawfish has got these teeth-like projections for hunting. So it uses these teeth projections to look for food. Oh. Uh, so this, this, this part is a snout. It means a snout. But this kind of fish is a bigger in size. Oh, okay. Yeah. It kills the prey. Is used for medication also? Definitely. What? Medication. I don't know. Yeah. The snout? Yeah, for medication. For medication. Oh, okay. And also the sharp, the sharp, is it bones? The sharp, yeah. uh, those sharp bones mm -hmm. was used to make ornaments. Yeah. They could make some ornaments, ornaments out of this, yeah. out of these projections, mm -hmm. they could use to make some ornaments. But at the same time, these projections were used to hunt it. when seen water is looking yeah. for food. To use this to kill the prey, prey. yeah, uh, uh, kill the prey and get food. Oh, okay. 
the Mzungu, maybe you'll also ask this. These are some of the cabinets. Okay. And they were very important because, like now, when they were collecting some specimens, mm -hmm. like butterfly case, mm -hmm. they could also put here. Okay. They were very important for safety. Just like nowadays, you can also keep your documents safe mm -hmm. yeah. or put in the file. Mm -hmm. They had also a way of keeping them mm -hmm. for safety so that they are not tampered with. Oh, okay. So these were some of the cabinets that were the placed. This under stone hams, stone hams kind of cabinets. Okay. And these ones here, we talk about osteology. Mm -hmm. We go to the end of my day. Yeah. Osteology is the study of bones. Mm -hmm. So museum has got this has has got what you call the strong room. Mm -hmm. So that strong room is keeping their real items, mm -hmm. real things. Mm -hmm. And they have also where they can be able they have a casting department. Mm -hmm. So under casting department, for mm -hmm. example, from the headquarters of the museum, mm -hmm. they have a casting department. Yeah. So they have made things like for example, lion, baboon, goat. Yeah. These were very important for teaching aid material. Yeah. But the real ones are put in strong groups. Why? Yeah. Because come a thousand years from now, mm -hmm. the people will be born. Yeah. These people will need some of this material. Yeah. Now, example, if you have original documents of mm -hmm. your certificates mm -hmm. and you apply for a job and using those originals, mm -hmm. you remain with photocopies. Yeah. Later on, you will not have any document. Yeah. So they have to keep those originals mm -hmm. under safe. Yeah. So like museums, they have the real put in the strong room, mm -hmm. but the ones for cast mm -hmm. is there. So there's a casting department yeah. so that you can be able to safeguard for posterity yeah. or for future. I can relate with that because <laughs> I come from there. <laughs> you, so so I know the strong room is a very dark room. It's a very dark room. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and you can always easily uh, access. Yeah, yeah. Maybe the director or whatever. I know we can be able to access. But yeah, I access it because I was working on some space. You see, you could access. Yeah, yeah. But me, if I go there, I cannot be able to access. I yeah. know it's very technical. Yeah. But now I think mm -hmm. that's made them to come up with the idea of let us have the casting department. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hmm. And then these ones, you can also see there's a, for the students who do what you call ecology mm -hmm. because they study the relationship between the plants and animals to each other. Mm -hmm. They could easily access what is here mm -hmm. so that because we have like zebra. Zebra was made in a form of yeah, the process still taxidermy. Mm -hmm. yeah, so they have done that mm -hmm. to preserve the zebra for some time. It looks so real. But once you study ecological environment, you don't even study what is found in the atmosphere, the insects, how they relate to each other. Those, who die, those that die also mm -hmm. are beneficial for those that are living. Yeah. So you have the food web, which is in the connected food chain. Mm -hmm. So this one is very important knowledge for the students who carry out mm -hmm. ecological research yeah. in the, within the Kitale Museum. Yeah. Yeah. So far we have come to the end of this. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can go to the area yep. of the birds oh, to okay. study on ethology yeah. and also oology, which is the study of eggs. Ology. Ology is the same place. Yeah, and I have a final question for you. Yes. When we finish, so you <laughs> remind me. Yes. Yes. Now yes. here yeah. we are looking at ornithology. Oh. So you have under ornithology is the study of birds, mm -hmm. and then you have ostrich. Mm -hmm. When ostrich, uh, ostrich incubation period is forty-two days. Mm -hmm. Hen incubation only takes for twenty-one days. So what happens with this when they when they the young ones? Okay, when there is in a quagoyne gradient. Hatch. When they hatch, mm -hmm. we can easily find that they all of them, the chicks resemble the man. Oh. They, they resemble the hen. Mm -hmm. But when they grow, mm -hmm. you'll easily identify, you will distinguish between the cock and the hen. Yeah. Because the cocks have black and black and white. Yeah. And you see easily they have the duty roster. Mm -hmm. Like the cock, they do incubation during the night. Mm -hmm. So they are nocturnal. While the, the, the hen, mm -hmm. they do dano duties mm -hmm. during the day. Yeah. So you see that the black also provides the security. Yeah. So in other words, they share their duties. Okay. It's very important also to learn about mankind because it means there's a gender, <laughs> gender kind of, <laughs> if it were a human being. Yeah. So they share the roles okay. during the day and during the night. Okay. Yeah. And then you can also understand about adaptations okay. because it means the black in color, they provide security. Okay, the, the black, black feather. Feather. Mm. So the black is the men. Like this, the, the yeah. black, black the provides security. And now here we have this one is the African fish eagle. Uh -huh. This one is the sacred ibis. Uh -huh. So you have the sacred ibis, and you have what you call the great great, great grossy ibis. Uh -huh. It means they have the same species, uh -huh. but they have different genius. Okay. Uh, so you have this. This one is also referred to as Mpavana, Nganga, or Mpavana among the Uganda. Nganga. Uh, Nganga. Okay. And then you have also Lilac Breasted Roller. This, mm -hmm. this kind of bird is regionally distributed, it's found almost everywhere. Mm -hmm. Lilac Breasted Roller. Yeah. Which is Karasha's Kaudata. Yeah. And there's debate on whether it should be the national bird of Kenya. I don't know how the debate has been settled. 
but maybe it, we it, can. it might win. It might win <laughs> because yeah. it has the different colors. It, it has different colors. Our diversity. Yeah, yeah. 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 diversity. Yeah. Very important. Yeah. Then you can also be able to still have the domestic fowl. The Dallas domestic. Yeah, these ones among the Baluya. Mm -hmm is a lot of importance on a domestic fowl, mm -hmm. special visitors. Mm -hmm. They use this, they call it ingo mm -hmm. among the Luya community. Yes. And then... Kalenji is ingo, ingo chet, ingo chet. Yeah. and uh, gueno. Gueno is among the Luya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and then you have other bus like open bill stock and trombeta, mm -hmm. all of them. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. You have open bill stock. open. Yeah. And, and the trombeta. And you can also appreciate you have the weaver bird. Mm -hmm. And you have what you call weaver African bird. Japan. Japan. So African yeah. Jakarta birds, they live in ponds mm -hmm. and they feed on insects and worms. Mm -hmm. yeah. So in other words, we also just study only eggs. Mm -hmm. This part is also part of the Stoneham collection. So he collected mm -hmm. some eggs. Okay. And the study of eggs is what we refer to as ology. ology. But the study of the entire birds mm -hmm. is what we refer to as ornithology. ornithology. But if we only study snakes, mm -hmm. we could talk about serpentology. Okay. Because we are studying the, the snakes. Okay. But, but because here we are combining studying some of the snakes, reptiles and amphibians, mm -hmm. so we are referring to these departments as herpetology. And it's part of the 70% stone harms collection. Okay, okay. That's just, uh, very informative. And uh, you know, also behind this kind of uh, gallery, we have the library, okay. which captures uh, colony stone harm research okay. and other books. Okay. So it means Kitale Museum is a nice place where you can be able to carry out your own research. Yeah. And also students come here for the mm -hmm. purpose of uh, touring mm -hmm. and also collecting information which is viable to the syllabus. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh, very informative. And very. <laughs> I'm learning a lot actually. Yeah. You know, most of the people, they just, like we've seen a group of four people, mm -hmm. they just walk in, go around, <laughs> and go. Yeah, and don't you get your it. money and you don't get the value uh, yeah. for the money. Yeah. Maybe, so, maybe before we go inside, the other side, yeah. you can also address the children's corner. Okay. You have the children's corner. Okay. You remember that children's corner in the year 1974 when we opened this museum, mm -hmm. it was the office of the curator, Miss Linda Donnelly. Okay. Miss Linda? Uh, Miss Linda Donnelly. Donnelly. The British Episcop. She was okay. the first curator of this Kitale Museum. Mm -hmm. You can see she's the one who predecessor who succeeded from Colin Stone. Okay. Because she's the one who took over. Yes, if, it, if there was a will, purpose of the transfer of the museum to this place, and then after that, there was now opening up of the Kitale Museum, uh -huh. 1974, uh -huh. isn't it? Uh -huh. So there were DOs and DCs, which were county commissioner. They came here for to open the, the museum. Uh -huh. And Mzee Njomo Kenyatta was the president, uh -huh. remember, 1974. Uh -huh. So that children's corner room was uh -huh. the office of the curator. Uh -huh. And the other exhibition room, the other side, was an accountant office. Okay. So in 1975, uh, she, uh, Linda, Ms. Linda Donnelly, who was the curator, she had already Seven, uh, seven staff members mm -hmm. at the museum was running. Okay. Uh, so we can be able to appreciate now the museum has done that, uh, th that kind of small room for curators. Mm -hmm. It has children's corner mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. And those things are important for one, learn to learn, mm -hmm. two, have digital literacy, mm -hmm. three, it talks about creativity and innovation mm -hmm. and a talent creation. Mm -hmm. So we have also art drawing. Yes. So it can also build the young people, mm -hmm. instead of looking for the job, they can be able to create job opportunity. Yeah. And they cannot be able to appreciate talent. Yeah. 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 Awesome. Yeah. Uh, well informed. Yeah. Uh, so I'm, I'm really learning a lot. And uh, <laughs> I was saying, you know, it's not good for people just to pay and walk around. There's too much information to learn here in Italy Museum. Definitely. So that's why I normally encourage people, when they go out, they should ask for a tour guide yeah. or a person in charge, the curator, or just somebody to take them through so that Especially. they understand the information there? here in the museum. Yes, so there are tour guides who can be able to guide them yeah. so that when they go, yeah. they are paid for money. Yeah. So that money can make value. Yeah. But if they don't get for tour, they might not get the knowledge, enough knowledge yeah. to help yeah. them. Yeah. Because it's the same same knowledge that will also help their children yeah, back sure. to school. Yeah. Uh, to yeah. make their work easy. And they start so <coughs> people bring children and they just daddy ni 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 uh, ni nyoka ni ni yes. ni uh, so they don't learn. They don't learn. Yeah. And they should also be able to appreciate their biodiversity. Yeah. So biodiversity is yeah. the relationship between nature and the environment. Okay. So they also enjoy their their, their biodiversity. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And the ecological environment. Okay. So uh, let's go see the children's corner and I have one question for you after that. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> I have one question for him, I hope, because he's been here for quite some time. How long have you worked here at the museum? Uh, I, was, I came here in 2017. 2017? Also, uh, oh, that's well enough. <laughs> that's well enough. So uh, he, he's good to answer our question. So the question is coming in the next five minutes. So 
let's go to the children's corner and then we ask him the question and then we call it a day yeah it's been very educative very inspiring and i'm loving it so this is the first office of the curator. Yeah. So 1974, Miss? you're talking about in this leader don't you? That's the, that was the office. Okay. The other room there was an exhibition room. Okay. Which was for accountant. Okay. Yeah. But now this one is the children's corner. Okay. So we can be able to find art mm -hmm. drawing. Okay. We can be able to find other things like the paper balls, yeah. the cutter pile, mm -hmm. or the sling slots. Mm -hmm. We have also the metal bicycle screens. Okay. And these things are very important for purpose of creativity, mm -hmm. innovation. Yeah, I used to make this about and yeah. the catapult as well. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, and then you can see also appreciate the drawings. Yeah. The art. Yeah. So you can also realize that Stoneham mm -hmm. was also good in the era of art and science. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Yes, much was covered in art mm -hmm. and science. Yeah. So this museum was donated by. We, what we can say, yeah. there was a contribution mm -hmm. from Colonel Stoneham himself, mm -hmm. the founder, mm -hmm. and also a contribution from UNESCO. Okay. So UNESCO stands for United Nations Education mm -hmm. Scientific Culture Organization. Mm -hmm. So we see the, the headquarters of the UNESCO is in Paris, in France. Yeah. And they immensely contributed to us, the museum, mm -hmm. because there was a donation from him to, mm -hmm. to Colonel Stoneham, mm -hmm. because he collaborated with UNESCO. Mm -hmm. I think UNESCO is still friendly to the museum. Yeah. Yeah, so okay. they have really made uh, this place be good. Uh, so they, by contribution, you mean they sent money to... They sent money to the, to the founder, and the founder combined for the purpose of construction of this museum. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, yeah. It means the fund that constructed the Italian museum mm -hmm. was from Colonel Stoneham, mm -hmm. and also from the, from those those who collaborated. Now okay. we look at the UNESCO. Okay. Yes. Oh, nice. Initially. Okay. Mm. All right. So my question needs some light. We go outside there <laughs> and I ask you my question. Yes. Okay. Do you have to write your name? Oh, I'll write my name here. Okay. So here there's some light. So having worked at the museum for a very long time, not long, it's quite a fair time. Uh, what are the recommendations that you can provide to the museum to make it a better museum? Okay, maybe what we see, mm -hmm. we need to... Yeah. And maybe I'm asking because when I was young, mm -hmm. I came at this place and it was just the same with the 10, 20 years later. Okay, we need, we need more cultural material. Mm -hmm. uh, some artifacts, mm -hmm. we need the communities mm -hmm. to put in, like uh, when you talk about the Western culture, mm -hmm. We need to add more artifacts, mm -hmm. uh, exhibits, mm -hmm. and we need to increase more, more of these things uh, that captures our culture. Okay. We need to continue to add more mm -hmm. uh, so that we can be able to attract more people mm -hmm. from different uh, parts of the country. Okay. And also what we need to do in this museum, mm -hmm. uh, we need to, they need to source funds mm -hmm. to improve other areas. Mm -hmm. For example, if the nature, the side of the nature, mm -hmm. They need to check to improve those trails or mm -hmm. bridges mm -hmm. so that they are in order. Okay. And it means there is need to improve those bridges. Mm -hmm. uh, customer care, I think, is up to the standard. Mm -hmm. And also we look at the purpose of checking for employment. Mm -hmm. Because employment the opportunities come in when the museum is expanded mm -hmm. uh, so that they can be able to meet the standard of those ones who come for interns. Yeah. They can also be able to access. Yeah. And also we need to check, like now, we need big billboard to, mm -hmm. for purpose of, like the billboard, yeah. for the purpose of marketing of the museum. Yeah. And also that uh, uh, everything is well done. Yeah. And also if you look at our gallery and other places, we need to ensure that they do refurbishment, total yeah. refurbishment. Mm -hmm. This place looks attractive mm -hmm. because we need more, there's need for more funds to make sure that Italian museums okay. meet the standard of uh, national and international museums. Yeah. So they can be able to fetch more people mm -hmm. from different parts okay. of the world. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. For me, I can add on security. Exactly. Maybe security. tell us about security. May, may, <laughs> may I could recommend that they put CCTV all over? CCTV all over the place. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, she also told me perimeter wall. Yeah, perimeter we also wall. Need, yeah. Just, uh, need to put perimeter wall yeah. around here. Yeah. And you see, like this tractor is yeah. part of the museum. Yeah. So last time we put 
people could come and see like stealing something from uh, a metal or anything from here. Mm -hmm. So we need to build a very nice gallery for machines like tractor yeah. together with the implement like work. Yeah. And have that kind of perimeter wall fenced around. Yeah. And also we need to ensure that the workers have got the uh, what do you call it? Keep your tag. Eh? Yeah, tag and we have to we need to bring uniforms for the you, tour guides. Un uniforms for the tour guides yeah. and also uh, the workers, the staffs. Mm -hmm. yeah. They need something like tag for identification. Oh, okay, okay. You see? Yeah. For the quality. Yeah. And also we need to ensure that maybe also they check on the area of uh, computers. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe like like people we come here for the purpose of just they want to see, mm -hmm. to learn museum from talk or video. Yeah. Uh, so they can have a specific place where they can sit mm -hmm. and be able to learn something from museum without necessarily moving. Like a theater. The, like a, a theater. theater. Yeah, right. yeah, like a theater. Yeah. So these ones mm -hmm. will only happen mm -hmm. if there's need for maybe the government or facilitating more funds to mm -hmm. facilitate this. All yeah. this can work out yeah. when uh, there's proper channeling of finances to yeah. facilitate and improve yeah. this museum. Yeah. 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 For me, I can add all that. The yeah. snake park yeah. needs to be independent. Exactly. So in the snake park, we need to have, uh, or you enter, you see the different types of snake being displayed. Yeah. And then at the center, maybe we have the tortoises and the other chameleons and stuff. And then we can come up with a marine yeah, uh, yeah. aquarium and aquarium. also uh, freshwater aquarium. Yeah, we need some fresh yeah. freshwater aquarium. Because, uh, and increase some of the species, like whatever you are talking about snakes, different yeah. kind of species. Yeah. 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 Well guarded. Yeah and provide proper fencing for crocodile and other things yeah. so that they are secure. Yeah. Yeah. And maybe we can come up with uh, maybe a, a live animal exhibition like the lions, cheetahs, an orphanage because we have space. Over there we can come up with the orphanage. I think that will also be, if, yeah. if we have an orphanage, yeah. it will be also good, but you also be creating some job opportunities for other things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if you improve, come up with the orphanage, then you have to come up with, you, you have to employ more other staffs too. That. Yeah, yeah. So also check that the staffs that are there, mm -hmm. they need to be facilitated with enough gadgets yeah, yeah. for the purpose of, uh, of uh, management. Yeah. Of the museum. Yeah. Yeah. So I think uh, with that uh, recommendation, mm -hmm. because it's good to when you are here, you need to en empower the people and yeah. uh, tell the government what needs to be done, and uh, in the near future, the museum will be transformed. Yeah. Because it has a big potential, it has land, it has space. Yeah. And uh, people will come here and learn more. And also the research section needs research to be section expanded. And we need those exchange programs. Yes. Like you can have the interns from here or here, they go to another place to learn. Okay. So you see, when you have the exchange programs, mm -hmm. you can also build up the oh. museum. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Awesome. In a, uh, greater networking. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I think that is well stated. Mm -hmm. So anything you want to say before we exit? No. Um, to me, I'm very grateful for mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. Your name? I'm Ivy Nekesta, tour guiding. Tour yeah. guiding? Yeah. So I'm happy because we work with them mm -hmm. tirelessly, they don't get tired. Mm -hmm. They tour the people all over here. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm grateful because you've come. Mm -hmm. And because you have also aired our information out, yeah. we are sure that the government is seen to improve the museums yeah. so that it becomes a better place and attractive yeah. for all people. Yeah. So we are happy uh -huh. for those who have had whatever we have presented, uh -huh. and we hope uh, amicable action will be taken to improve our museum for better. Yeah, yeah. And also create an opportunity yeah. for others. Yeah. Well, this is a museum with very big potential. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Having a museum is a very big potential. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. yeah. Maybe at this time, maybe your no, your name and your number. Okay, my name is Adrianos Mukwana. Mm -hmm. I work as a curatorial assistant, the gallery mm -hmm. section. Mm -hmm. My mobile number is plus two five four seven five eight eight nine thirty nine. Five eight eight nine thirty nine. Nine thirty. Are those enough? Plus two five four seven. Five eight eight nine thirty nine. Nine thirty nine. Yeah, I can also add another number. It's possible. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. Or rather, you can put have zero seven ninety five. Zero seven ninety five. Six seventy two. Six seventy two. Five sixty nine. Five sixty nine. Yes. Yeah, and maybe the email address for the size and stuff. Uh, this is just Adrianos Mukwana mm -hmm. at Yahoo dot com. Adrianos Mukwana at yahoo.com at, at gmail.com gmail. adrianos mukwana at gmail.com yes. yeah.
Thank you so much. I really appreciate my name is Brian Anoto. Yeah, thank you so much for coming. Yeah. Feel welcome. Yeah. And we appreciate for your coming. Yeah, and we are one team. I just come from the Mesher Bujas Welcome. Yeah, yeah. So I've, we are one I've also really I really appreciate yeah. for your contribution. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Good willing, mm -hmm. hope I'm is able to be a better place. Yeah, I'll have your number. Yes. Yeah. Thank so you. Let's exit the video and then uh, let's uh, because she t also did an amazing job. So this yeah, is a good job. Yes, yes. Yeah, yes. we appreciate she's done yeah, some yeah. good job. Yeah, you've done a good job. <laughs> yes. Yeah, okay. Okay, um, I've been a case at a guide in Italian Museum. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, should I say my email? Yeah, yeah. My email is nekesa iv47 at gmail.com. Okay. Actually, I'm a student at Eldoret National Polytechnic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And she told me she organizes safaris. Yeah. So this is the moment. Yeah. yeah. Always organize itinerary. Always plan for people mm -hmm. itinerary. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. If you if you need one, mm -hmm. you can find me through my number. Mm -hmm. My number is plus two five seven plus two five four seven ninety five seven thirty five eighty two. Okay. One more time. Plus two five four seven ninety five seven thirty five eighty two. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. And uh, say bye to the people. Bye. Bye. Okay. So that's been my time in Kitale National Museum Western National Museum. National Museum of Western Kenya. Uh, see you in the next episode, probably on my way to Mombasa and document, and also in Mombasa. So this is a lot of and I, I'll have to sign this visitor's book. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, so is it, maybe I put at the table. So I have to write my name here. Eh? 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 video. video. Amazing reception. Very informative to a guide. Guiding. So that's it. So so bye bye. Say bye to the people. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you. And come and see him yeah. here in Tale Museum. Thank you so Nashua. much. Oh, Kitali National Museum. Okay, okay. So, bye bye. Yeah. I really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you so much. Okay, okay. Yeah. And bye bye. bye. Okay. And bye bye, guys. See you See in you. the next one. Thank okay. you. Bye bye.